Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. So today we are going over the PSA M4 accuracy test. So uh, real quick, we're going to take a look at the rifle because, yeah, I don't think I've really showed it on the channel all that much. So this, yeah, is the Paul Meadow State Armory. This is just their PSA M4 classic. So it has a government profile barrel. 13 and a half inch M lock free floated handguard. Yeah, and from there everything else is mil spec. Well, um, yeah, everything else is mil spec. We have just standard bolt, which is or and bolt carry group, which is what I shot it with. I did put a different lower on it so that because the other lower has a better trigger, just so I could get maximum accuracy. And yeah, so I was um, pleasantly surprised with the accuracy out of this guy. So this gun has like just, it has just over 4,000 rounds. It's got like 4,300. Okay, we did shoot the Winchester 55 grain last, but we're just gonna put it in here first. So, that group measured in edge to edge it was 2.81 inches and then center to center it came in at 2.59 inches or 2.47 moa so that is the winchester 55 green and then next we had the federal gold medal match 69 green so that edge to edge came in at 2.38 inches the center to center came in at 2.16 inches or 2.06 MOA. Next, we had the Hornady Match Boat Tail Hollow Point 75 grain. That came in edge to edge at 1.31 inches. Okay, center to center came in at 1.09 inches or 1.04 MOA. So 1.04 MOA. Then next, we had the Hornady Superformance Match 75 grain. That edge to edge came in at 1.81 inches. And then center to center, it came in at 1.59 inches or 1.51 MOA. And last but not least, the Federal Gold Medal Sierra Match King 77 grain. Edge to edge came in at 1.38 inches. Center to center came in at 1.16 inches or 1.1 MOA. So yeah, overall, this and I will have the overall uh, sizes of the group. So we'll have the overall for all five shot groups right here. So that'll be the average for all five shot groups and then the average for the match grade loads will be right here. Boom. We will also have the average for the heaviest three loads right here. Because the heaviest three loads did excellent, as you can see by the numbers right there. Also, yeah, again, so this gun has just over 4,000 rounds through it. I've had it for now just, uh, for yeah, for 13 months and... Yeah, it is shot amazing. With the scope, it shoots excellent. With match grade, it shoots... Or, so, with Winchester standard ammunition, it shoots pretty pretty darn good, just how it is. And then, with match grade, yeah, this gun shoots incredible. The barrel and the bolt are not technically mil spec. That's what we shot it with, obviously. I believe the way that the 1 in 7 uh, 5.56 five, chamber works out, uh, it prefers heavier loads, which... As we can see by the results, totally, totally is the case. Next, following this video, at some point, we will do the accuracy tests on this guy. The BCM 11.5 Dream Build. Super excited to do that. The only thing that I am not excited to do is uh, to have to take off the optic and re-zero it when I'm when I'm done with that, so that's gonna suck. <laughs> and then another thing, like uh, it's gonna look hilarious with the scope on it, because literally the scope like comes like directly to the end of the handguard, which is pretty funny. 
But yeah, that was the PSA M4 accuracy test. It performed excellent. It definitely exceeded my expectations. Um, yeah, and we will definitely show that gun in the future. Maybe the next time that I take that gun out, we'll do just a quick rundown of um, the gun. It's nothing crazy. It's pretty. It's almost. It's pretty much stock because um, I wanted to run it stock because I was gonna do a review on it, and then I just never did. So, yeah. So until next time.